Okay, good day. So for this day, our topic is all about communication aids and strategies using tools of technology. So let's proceed. So what is communication aids? Okay, so when we say communication aids class, it is anything that helps an individual communicate more effectively with those around him. So meaning to say it makes a person better in terms of communication itself. Like for example, that person will be able to understand more clear what the person talks about. Also, when we say communication aids are often referred to as augmentative or alternative communication aids or what we call AAC. So when we say augmentative communication class, it is anything that you add to your switch. So like for example, it can be sign language, pictures, or even letter board we're in. When you do augmentative communication, this can make your message more clear to your listener. So in short, it will be a big help for them. Next, people with severe speech or language impairment that impacts on their communication success may be supported by using communication aids. And that is actually the main goal of communication aids in the first place. And it can be in the form of charts and symbols, and also tools of technology in communication, especially this one during this age, the digital age we're in, we always rely on the technology. So using technology can be a big help for them. Okay. Next one, we have effective communication strategies. So the first one is all about imbibe leadership role in communication. So that's more of providing useful, relevant information to group or individuals. Okay, so this one man, is more of being always relevant. Okay, like for example, you're talking about this topic, English. So your information should always be about English, not about math, not about Filipino, but being relevant, English topic. Number two, determine key messages areas. So it is like being clear, memorable message, messages, especially to your audience, are actually critical in terms of effective communication because that is where they can easily understood you in the first place. There will be no confusion at all. Okay. Next, we have this one. Developing your messages. So the first thing to do is identifying your target audience. Okay, so you should consider your audience level of knowledge or awareness because in the first place class, our level of knowledge is not on the same level. So some students or some of you are uh, more of a high level, some of you are low level, or most of you are on just on the middle ground. So we should always consider the level of knowledge of a person. Next, perspective or their point of view. And also, we should anticipate the possible barriers in terms of understanding, like the noise or the environmental noise, wherein it might affect the communication as well, wherein it might lead to mis misunderstanding or misinterpretation on the receiver's part. Okay? So, next, aside from identifying your audience, we should also focus on your objective. That's why purposive communication in the first place. So meaning to say, before you start, you should always remember your objective. Okay, Always bear to your mind what is your purpose in the first place. Number three, be relevant. This is how to be relevant. And that is actually very important to be relevant. So for the audience, there will be no miscommunication or no confusion at all. And also, be clear and concise. So when I say concise class, it means your statement should be brief, but at the same time, it is really meaningful because that is what concise after all. And also, when we say be clear and concise, uh, it avoids the redundancy or the repetition of the 
backwards. And lastly, be consistent to the points you make. Okay, and that is actually really important in terms of the communications so that on the audience part, it will make them more clear, okay? Especially in, their, in terms of their understanding. That's why you should stick to your point in the first place, okay? So, yeah, that's it for Chapter 5, and I hope you learned something, and thank you for listening. For more ICCT Colleges video updates, please subscribe and click the notification button.